Welcome, fans, to another summer episode of Ranger Zed. This is your host, Cousin Ed, here with my co-host, Little Ed. What's up, bud? How we doing, fellas? Looking forward to a little fun one tonight. Got the new camera. I like the angle. I get to see the whole room. It's beautiful. Yeah, you get to see more of my room, so I got to hide more of my craft stuff. I did as as good as I could for now, but uh, I guess a little bit of work in progress now. So, yeah, I got a new computer, a new setup in here. I love it, but now I need some work. Did you did you build the computer? Is this the one you were saying you built it? Yeah, I did. Uh, me and our buddy Harry, um, I bought all the parts, shopped around, found the best deals. Actually, according to them, I'm not really a professional. According to my friends who have done it in the past and stuff, I got good deals on everything, so that was cool. And uh, yeah, it was just really, I didn't like solder together any microchips or anything. All the parts come put together already. You kind of just like mount them into the tower. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun to do. I love building Legos and doing things like that. So this was kind of a whole nother level. It was a lot, pretty intricate. Um, so yeah, shout out to Harry for giving me a hand. And this thing runs like, you can't believe how fast it is. It's unbelievable. I can't wait to... Uh, start editing some clips for you guys again and upgrading our content this year with my supercomputer. Awesome, dude. Awesome. We got yeah. Mikey Producies down there. He's got all the pictures up on his white wall. What's up, Mikey? Peace up, guys. What's going on? Just living, <laughs> living the dream over here. Excited for this episode as well. <laughs> a good. Uh, Mike just did a meditation before the episode, apparently. <laughs> Co and Coach Ed over there with those old school headliners. What's up, Coach? You got some headlines we dug out of the attic. A little excited, a little tired from the weekend. We had a nice little, the nice little golf outing, the fundraiser. We did a great job. Eddie did a great job. Live for Evan. What did we raise Ed? Thirty five hundred bucks. Yeah, thirty five hundred bucks or dollars <laughs> officially. Um, but I still have all the <laughs> raffle money and a few checks left over that i didn't include in that 3500 so we might be pushing closer to four uh nice. so that's, that's incredible uh yeah i presented adam with that fake check at the outing which put a nice touch to it um and yeah i mean live for evan posted us on their instagram they were super excited um about it and super thankful for it so yeah it felt good to raise that amount of money and thank you to all of our fans for contributing and donating to the cause. I mean, I put a bunch of signs up for all the donors out there. Uh, shout out to Joshua Greenberg. I think I spoke on one of the previous episodes. He'll be joining us for uh, an episode this season. And also uh, Karen, our favorite, one of our favorite oh, fans baby. out there. I put up the sign. I'll have to post it for you all on Instagram. Um, I put up her sign like this whole sponsored by Karen. I won't say your last name on the air by Karen and then like under it I wrote how much do I need to donate to get Bushnevich back on the Rangers so <laughs> everyone who came through to that hole saw that sign and I, I thought that was really funny and she thought it was hilarious so I cannot uh, wait for that episode yeah coach had uh got the sign back for you Karen so we'll send that out to you as soon as we can it's gonna be um, a Pavel Bushnevich centric episode <laughs> it's gonna be yeah, great so so yeah, it was a ton of fun. Like I said, it was uh, stressful, but in a good way. A lot, very, a lot better organized this year, and uh, everyone enjoyed themselves. And we had a good time out there on the course, and we were blessed with a beautiful day. Couldn't have asked for a beautiful day uh, while we were golfing, at least. But we were hit with a little bit of a what twenty-minute hurricane in the backyard oh right there. I meant to ask you about that. You guys were holding the tent down. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. crazy. So I, I get all the Mets notifications on my watch. So I get the rain delay notification. I'm like, uh oh, it's coming. All of a sudden it comes. <laughs> then there's like a hurricane, like just pouring rain, winds, everything. Not literally. I don't want to scare anybody or whatever, but it was crazy. And then I, I feel my, I'm like soaking wet. I'm holding onto the tent so it doesn't go flying away. My friend Harry's like fucking nailing things into the ground. And then all of a sudden my watch buzzes again and says the Mets are about to start. So I was like, oh, we got like 10 minutes. The bridge's going to pass. <laughs> <laughs> so we held down the fort for another like 10 minutes. And then we had fun with the rest of the uh, after party and everything. And we were all good. So 
Shout out to Live for Evan. If uh, yet, if you didn't donate, I mean, you could donate whenever at uh, liveforevan.org. That's live number four evan.org. And uh, Mikey Produce, he's putting it up on the screen. It looks like over there. So, well, yeah, that's uh, before, pretty much uh, it about the outing. Uh, you guys are welcome no, to join us next so. year. I don't no? think that's it. No, I need okay. to know what, what were the rules of the outing. Who won? Oh, it's a complete shit show. I need to know. I need to know like a we little bit more than have just some... the donations. <laughs> Why was I... First of all, first of all, my group was like minus uh, plus five, and all of a sudden we came in like eighth. I don't understand how that happened. Because you had to shoot better. Because your group was plus five, but the other groups were like plus eight and like plus nine or something. Your so that average. Means I did. That means I did better. Yeah, your group was part of a team of three groups. <laughs> oh, I like, wasn't aware of that. Fact. I showed you that and explained that to you like three or four times. And this is what I said, yeah, coach at fashion. Hear. Yeah. Yeah. So I, we had 10 foursomes, right? So I split it up into the first three foursomes were on one team. Then the middle three were on another team. And then the last three were on the third team. So it was like coach Ed and his friends, like those three foursomes were all together. Then it was like me, my group, and then like my loyal buddies, my college buddies. And then the tail was Mikey Produces and his buddies, three full foursomes. So it, it shook out to make some sense to do it that way instead of just having like one group be the winner. And uh, yeah, I just took the everyone's scores, each group's scores, and averaged them out or added them together. And then the lowest overall score won. So I'll bring Shit, it up real bring... quick if you need to Wait, know. so you averaged it or you added them together? I didn't average it. I, I didn't mean to say that. I just added them together. So added them together. Dad's group got a 77. Kono's group got a 78. Sean Cuthbert, Hockey Night in New York, shot an 81, which I think is a 236. If you want to check me on that, you can. What a shit show. Sean, wait till I see Sean. That sucks. Yep, 236. <laughs> and then my group shot a 78. My One of my loyal groups shot a 73. And then my our buddy Harry and some loyal kids shot a 79. So that's 230. And then finally, Mikey Produce's group, 79, Ed Brown's group, 82, and Ramon's group, 70, at minus two. So they, they were they Damn. just missed. They they lost by to my group by one at 231. Ramon's group got a 70? That's what they wow. claim. I think there was one kid in their group who was a stick. Yeah. Wow. You gotta yeah. play with them next time. Ramon's good, good yeah. but I think there was a kid in his group that was really good. Well, I'm recruiting him on my team next year. He brought, he brought, <laughs> he brought Tiger Woods to the tournament. Yeah. So it is a lot of fun, guys. Uh, we have a lot of fun. fun. We take it seriously on the course, and then we have a good time afterwards. And anyone who wants to come next year is more than – Oh, Oscar joined us as well. So shout out yep. to Oscar. He, he rode with me. He was on my team. Um, so that was a lot of fun with Oscar out there. And uh, we talked nice. a lot about the future season and – events that we want to put together and whatnot. And uh, I guess last but not least, Hockey Night in New York wants to put together, or we are putting together a paintball match with them September 9th. So mark your calendars, and we'll talk more about that in the next couple we're gonna episodes. Need, we're going to need to hire a videographer for that. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully Sean's got something lined up. <clears throat> so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, You got to wait. I'm in yeah. trial that weekend, so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. that's actually a good idea. The GoPro, um, yeah. So, a lot, a lot's going on. A lot, a lot, a lot's been happening, and it was a success. Nice, nice. What's been going that's on with awesome. you, cuz? We just talked for a long time almost 10 minutes already. We got to get going. Oh, uh, dude, I've just been traveling, going from one place to the other, and enjoying life, man. I just spent a, the weekend at a hotel, uh, in Miami. Uh, pool, beach, great weather. It's year round in Miami, though. You guys eventually got to come down here, and it's not, you know, you do that in December too. So, isn't it too hot in the summer? Well, I mean, well, it's <laughs> it's it's hot. Yeah. Well, I like to say it's... some might call it hot. Some might call it hot. Well, I'll call it uh, hot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're in the pool. You're in the in the ocean. You know, the ocean water is like butter. 
It's like melting on a pan. You just slide right I in. I heard the water was like 101 degrees in Florida or something ridiculous. No, it was in the Keys, the, in the Gulf. Oh. Yeah, it's fine over here. Just got to watch those shark bites. I was thinking, uh, I was in the ocean. And my wife's like, don't go too deep in the ocean. And I'm like, I'm okay. You know, and then I, as I'm going in, I was thinking, I'm like, wait, Mike said those black tip fin sharks or whatever come, <laughs> come right near the. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not the coast. I started thinking about it, so I was like, I'm getting in my own head. I was, I was in the ocean for like a minute. I left. <laughs> I was like, it's not worth it. I forgot what he said. Be, what did he say? Yeah, be aware of your tip. surroundings. Yeah. No, you saw yeah, the, the, the migration, right? He was talking about the migration that they swim close to the beach. Yeah, but I can't remember the kind of shark. I think it was something black tip. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, it's like black tip shark or something. So I don't care what kind of shark. I don't want to be near it. I swam with sharks actually in the Caribbean. It was awesome. All right. Nice. Little nurse little nurse sharks though. They don't bite or anything. Were they Fokker sharks? <laughs> <laughs> shark RN. <laughs> little Fox <laughs> little Fokker. Shark RN. Shark RN. <laughs> <laughs> um anyway all right let's jump right into this so we got a little treat for you guys today first the first part of the treat is there's going to be a draft order drawn with our bingo machine and coach ed is actually going to be the one to do it so that's the, um, the most exciting part for me because it took him a little bit to figure out how to use the machine and then we asked him if he knew how to use it and he got frustrated and he's like yeah i know how to use it what do you mean so <laughs> i'm excited to see when how the this pressure's actually on goes. Yeah, pressure's on and not mess up, the, you know, the, the drawing. But we're going to do a draft here. Um, do, you want Price Waterhouse, of- do you want Price Waterhouse here to witness the uh, the uh, <laughs> ball coming out of the thing? We'll have to, get awning, from K- we'll have to get awning from KPMG here. <laughs> we uh, – <laughs> I can't even deal with this. Um <laughs> So, obviously, you know, uh, fans, Patrice Bergeron just announced his retirement. Obviously, a Hall of Fame career for Patrice. Not a Ranger, but uh, this podcast is a big fan of his and the way he plays the game. He'll be a first ballot Hall of Famer. And, obviously, our own Henrik Lundqvist just got uh, selected to be inducted into the Hall of Fame this year. So, in honor of that, we thought it might be interesting to do a little draft of active NHL players. Bergeron is off limits who if they retired right this second, so no future projection at all, no Jack Hughes picks, nothing like that. If they retired right this second, they would be a Hall of Famer. And we're going to do three forwards, two D, and a goalie each. And, you know, coach, I don't know if you want to do a coach at the end to, for a good measure, but I didn't prepare one, so I'd have to think uh, between now and then. We could do that. That wouldn't be bad. Does that have to be in that order? No, it doesn't have to be in that no. order. So you okay. can draft the players in any order you want, but you oh, can't we're not draft going all goalies first. I thought we we're going to go you around can't... the horn goalies. No, no. So you can't draft more than one goalie. You can't draft more than three D, uh, two D, and you can't draft more than three forwards. Um, just a heads up. So don't be trying to like pull all the good goalies on your team. You can't do that. All right. Uh, three forwards, want... two D, and one goalie. And we're going to snake draft it. Who's going so to track gonna... the picks? Cause are you going to track the picks or Mike? Yeah, I'll track. I'll I'll track the picks. Right, I'll trust Mike. Track the picks. <laughs> I'll trust Mike. So ne- forget my text, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, one last question or one last clarification, I should say. Do right. they have to be currently in the NHL? Uh, what does that mean? An interesting Where question. They, they could still be playing in Europe. Oh no, NHL, no Yago, <laughs> and Datsuk. I had on my list. <laughs> Datsuk, yeah. Um, well, isn't Datsuk right. in the Hall of Fame? I don't think so because he's not retired yet. Technically, I think he's still playing in the KHL. It's technically the Hockey Hall of Fame, so they have to retire oh. from hockey. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yeah, I think it's that's it. It's, yeah, because they could still win gold medals. They could still add to their accolades internationally. He's eligible in 2024. Oh. So I guess if you retire from the NHL, it's three years from then. Right. So how come is Yager in there? 
Uh, we should know this, shouldn't we? I don't remember Yager getting like having a ceremony or anything like that. No, he's not in yet. No, he's he's not. Maybe Datsuk retired. Because it says Yager, Yager's decision to play another year delays his inevitable induction to the Hockey Hall of Fame. So he's gonna be like sixty when he retires. <laughs> he's crazy. I don't remember man. Datsuk he's an animal. retiring, but I guess he must have. <clears throat> okay, so he's off my list. <laughs> no Carry Datsuk, no Yager. No, no Nigel Dawes either. <laughs> um, all right, so let's get right to it. So you guys understand the rules. Well, I'm sure somebody will screw it up. Coach Ed, uh, so you're going to draw a number for each of us. What was the rule again, Mikey? You laid it out nicely before the pod. So we'll pick whoever he's picked drawing for, and whoever has the lowest number, regardless of what number it is, will have the first pick in the draft. And then the order will continue from the second to lowest, third to lowest, and then the highest number gets the last pick. All right. So, Coach, draw your draw your own number. Go for it. This is for me first. Welcome to the. Yeah, put it on. Hold hold it in front of you so we can see you spin it and stuff. You know, you're doing it. Like, what are you doing? You might not be able to hold it straight. <laughs> Oh, I saw something come out. How'd that come out? Hold on. You got two? Wait, what are you Why doing? That? It shouldn't come out. I'm mixing it backwards to get the to mix it. All right, here we go. Here's the first number. This is Coach Ed. Oh, baby. Four? Okay, with a four. four. Wow. 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 That's a big pick. Wow. I feel like Jim Gorton. All right, this one's Mikey Produces. <laughs> this is Mikey Produces. Here it comes. Number three. This is great podcasting, by the way. Imagine it was four, three, two, one. 42. 42. Yeah, that's terrible. Right in the middle. Pretty much right in the middle. All right, this is mine. This is Cousin Ed. Six zero. Oof. All right, so we got... You sure that's not zero nine? I'm fairly certain it's six zero. Because <laughs> the single numbers have no zero. <laughs> Little Ed. Watch him pull a one. He's like <laughs> watching the numbers as they're getting there. He's like angling it. Five zero. Oh, Ooh. I got a three. All right. All right. So, Coach Ed, Mikey produces little Ed, Eddie, and then and then me fourth. And we're doing it snake, right? So you you'll it have is. the first pick, first pick in the second round. Yes, Mikey, that is how Snake works. Thank you. Just, just confirm it. I'm happy right, with so that. Gonna, so I'm going to go with my uh, – what are we – you ready or what are we doing? I'm ready if you're ready. All right. I'm going with the goaltender I'm going to take because I can't think of any other goaltenders. I'm going with Vasilevsky. All right. Okay. Coach Ed goes with Andre Vasilevsky. All righty. No arguments Mikey. there. No, he's definitely a Hall of Famer. I mean, what has he got? Two cups already. He's got a Vezina? Yeah, I think he's won a Vezina. At least, uh, at least one. Yeah, he's definitely a Hall of Famer. Going with What's the. His... Go ahead. No, no, I was going to say he's got like that record of uh, shutouts and elimination games or something. It's crazy. It ahead, wins Mikey. in elimination games. I'm going to take uh, arguably the best player in the NHL who will definitely be in the Hall of Fame, Connor McDavid. Mikey produces with Connor McDavid. Yeah, I mean, McDavid was an interesting one. Uh, If he retires right now, though, you think he's in the Hall of Fame? Yeah, definitely. No question. I can't can't argue. What are his stats? I mean, he's uh, a. For the folks at home. 
He's a five-time Art Ross winner, a four-time Pearson five winner, already? Oh, three, three Hart trophies, uh, six All-Star games. In 569 right. games, he has 850 points, including yeah, 300 and, 303 goals, 500-point seasons. Yeah, he's, he's in. He's yeah, in right now. <laughs> if, if something happens, I mean. Domination from Connor for sure. Well, I'm, ba- right. I'm, I'm just to let you guys know, I'm basing one of my uh, uh, parameters on Stanley Cups. But go ahead. Well, that sure. was my argument too. But you can't argue with all those other accolades. No, I can't argue with McDavid. Winning the, but- yeah, winning the Art Ross five times already is almost more impressive than if he did that over the course of his career. Obviously, uh, more to come from him. But yeah, he's in already. Yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? It's almost consecutive, <clears throat> like Gretzky type numbers and Lemieux. Um, all right, I'm up. Yes, I'm gonna get goaltender off the board also, just because I could only think of two, and coach already took one. And I'm going with Mark Andre Fleury, the flower. All right, little live with Mark Andre Fleury. Interesting decisions on the goaltending. Um, why, why are they interesting? Because I wasn't expecting you guys to go goalie early. Um, I just don't. If 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 Mark Andre went at any point, then I would be screwed because I couldn't think of anybody else really that I thought yeah. was deserving. So I guess yeah. the challenge is in <laughs> your guys' court then. There's got to be four goalies picked. So yeah, yeah. So we're just gonna have to make an argument whether or not they're I, Hall of Fame. I mean, yeah, we'll do the best we can. Uh, all right, I got two picks here. I'm gonna go. Sidney Crosby and Alex Ovechkin. Thanks, guys. <laughs> but nothing, nothing to say <laughs> about you those with, two. You went with the easy ones. Yeah. Hey, you dumped them in my lap, fourth and fifth overall. What am I going to do? I mean, um, yeah, but that's bullshit. I, actually, I get punished. I get punished for getting the number one pick. I will no, oh, because then you'll I get two picks later. I would, yeah, you get yeah. two picks this round, and I was also thinking when I got last pick, I was like, all right, I'll get Vasilevsky and then I'll get one of Crosby, Ovechkin, or McDavid. But you took Vasilevsky, so there you go. That's how it works, Coach. All right. Go ahead, that's how it works. All right, back to Little Ed. Mark andre Fleury is your only guy right now. I'm going to take a defenseman. I'll go with Drew Doughty. Yeah, Drew Doughty. Um, I mean, he's probably he's probably number one on the list of defensemen for like right now. Definitely a Hall of Famer. I think. I, I think he would be number one. Yep. He's I got the want, points. Uh, to, stuck with to, someone else, so I had to get rid of that early. Well, you need two defensemen. Remember. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens next round. If I feel threatened. <laughs> I, know gonna gonna, I know who cousin's going to. I know who's going to wait for the last him. pick in the draft for him. Yeah, because you know Which, we're not picking him. Exactly. <laughs> I might pick him just out of spite. Do it. It could be my spite pick. <laughs> what do you All got, right. Uh, this is tough. Mm. Everyone I pick, you guys are gonna tell me that they're not Hall of Fame players yet. So you, what you, you just give your that. argument. That's all. Doesn't see it happening. I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with Pasta Man, Dave Pasternak. Pasternak, D- damn, is he at that level already? I didn't even have him on my radar. He might be though. Yeah, I mean, has he won any? Has he won any major awards yet? He's got a rocket, Richard. That's impressive. Scored, scored 61 goals last year. He's definitely going to – I mean, I know he's we're close. not supposed to look into the future, but he's definitely going to continue. I think he's kind of hitting his prime like now. He's as close. Long as, could, as long as they can find some line mates for him. Yeah, I think he's close. I don't. I, don't, I wouldn't say, like, if he retired right now, he's a Hall of Famer, but he'd be in consideration, I think. So. Yeah, he'd be on the ballot for sure. Interesting pick, Mikey. Interesting pick. 
All right, Coach Ed, you get back to backs here. All right, I'm going to go with who I think is the number one defenseman that would be ready to go, and that's going to be Victor Hedman. Okay. And I'm Morgan. going with winger Patty Kane. That's a great pick. Patrick Kane. Patrick Kane, Crosby, and Ovechkin, I think, are the three right now that are like close because they're old. So they're get they'll be in the Hall of Fame like that. Um, he was up there for me. You know, Patrick Kane, as great as like Crosby and Ovechkin are, I keep seeing these stats that are like most points since 2011. Patrick Kane's number one. Most this and you know whatever it is for wingers for forwards anything most playoff goals most is patrick kane number one i mean he's arguably be stanley even better than those two three stanley cups well stanley cups a team accolade coach but that's good i know but he has three stanley cups he does yeah <laughs> so does uh brian bickle <laughs> i know but you don't have the stats to go with it Oh, okay. <laughs> so the stats do matter. I'm just making sure. All right. Yeah. Making sure it wasn't just the Stanley Cup. Sorry. No, no. I never said it's just the Stanley Cup. That's the icing <laughs> on the cake. All right. Patty Kane off the board. Coach going Tampa, Chicago heavy. Next, they'll draft some Penguins and uh, who else won the Cup? Chicago. Got I got two those. surprise picks. I got two surprise picks up my sleeve. I'm sure you do. Mikey produces. <laughs> I'm going to finish all my forwards. I'm going Steven Stamkos. Oh, nice. That's a good he was one of my. He was one of my sleepers. Good pick. Yeah, dude. Beast. Um, for sure. He's got to be closer over 500 goals already. I think he hit 500 goals and 1,000 games last season, if not back-to-back right. -back seasons. Yeah, 515 goals. Thousand three games, crazy. It's weird yeah, seeing Stamkos under a one of my favorite, one of my favorite non-Rangers. He's always been the classy guy, good hockey player, in my opinion. He's feisty too, you know. But it's yeah, weird he, looking on. You can play both ends of the uh, spectrum. Looking under awards, it says Messier. Under awards, that's, that's it. Imagine Messier. having an award named. Well, he won the Messier Award last year. I know, but like that's it. it. Doesn't say like Messier leadership or any. It just says Messier. <laughs> no, yeah, it says so, like All Star. It says AS dash four Bing thirteen Hart eleven Messier one because he was first in the Messier ballot. So the Messier award. It's crazy. Anyway, <laughs> all right. Who's up next? Little Ed. Um, I'm gonna go with the forward, Jonathan Taze. To pair up with uh, Coach Ed's, since he stole my Patrick Kane pick. Wait, didn't he retire? No, he's an unrestricted free agent. Oh, I thought I he. Looked, I thought he announced retirement. I looked it up before uh, we started to make sure, but it said that the <laughs> Leafs are the Leafs are, the Leafs are looking at him right now, so he didn't retire yet. Uh, yeah. Watch he re retires tomorrow. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, the goaltending situation is problematic. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm not going to lie. It's problematic. But I'm going to go – I'm going to go with Jonathan Quick. That's a good one. Because he's yeah, got two Stanley Cups. Like, to meet coaches' criteria, right? And Eric Carlson. <laughs> What a surprise. <laughs> three three Norris trophies. I mean, first ballot Hall of Fame. Minus 2,000 plus minus zero Stanley Cups. No, no, no argument. No argument for me. That's not why he'll make it. He'll make it for his Norris trophies and points. He's not going to make it for his defense. That's for sure. You're on hockey um, reference looking up the players, Ed? Yeah. Yeah, so if you look at awards – It'll tell you like where they ranked each year. Um, that's not number of times they won. That's uh, no the bold. The bold is how many they won, if they won. 
So it'll tell you if it says like eight, it means he was ranked eighth in that uh, for that award. That year. All right, back to Little Ed. Coach got in my head. I was going to save Carlson for the last pick, but <clears throat> I was worried he'd take him. Back to me, huh? I'm going to go with. Anze Kopitar. Nice. And he's going, and he's got the Selkie award winning offense. <laughs> <laughs> he's got hey, Kopitar. Dating. Those players win championships. Yeah, that's what you're doing. It's <laughs> funny. And if, if um, I have a pick that could round that out, but we'll see what I'm happens. Sure, I'm sure you do. Um, all right. Kopitar is a good pick. I mean, He's super underrated. He just signed like a three-year deal, right? Or yeah, was which I thought year? was a lot of money, but you said it wasn't. I think it was three years of five or – no, I think it might have been seven. seven. Yeah, seven. No, I don't think that's a lot for him. Um, I, just, I, I don't think it's a lot for him. I think he's worth that. I just thought he would have taken a little bit of a pay cut to make another push in these last couple of years, you know? But I guess they're I mean, expecting the salary cap to go up and blah, 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 blah. That's one way to look at it, but the other way to look at it is that's probably the last contract he'll sign. So might as yeah. well make as much as I can before I go. He's already got two cups. Um, unfortunately, should have one, but you know it's it's okay. My friend right. Andrew used to call him the zombie whenever we played NHL because like his player biopic looked he looked like a zombie in it, <laughs> like back in like NHL ten or something. I don't know. It's weird. That's funny. That's just Funny little story there, but yeah, Kobe Tar is another one of he, he's a non ranger, one of my favorite players or most respected. <clears throat> on he's very on, un- he's very underrated. Um, 1141 points, he's got two Lady Bings, two Selkies, and a, Le- and a Messier Leadership Award. That's a nice little another one, and two Stanley Cups. So, yeah, he'll be in. Yep. All right, Mikey. That was enough of a delay for you to figure out who to take. Who are you going with? This is tough, man. This is tough for me. Um, I'm going to go with uh, Chris Letang. Dang, Dang, Damn Mikey, it. Dang. Stole another one from me. He was, on, he was on my list. Nice. Nice pick. He is getting thin. So you only have one D left, right, Mike? Then? Correct. Ah, so I'm back. No, I'm back up. No, it's Coach Ed for two. Oh, right. Okay. Well, now I got to look something up. (laughs) Supposed to look it up before the episode. Well, I didn't have enough players. I need to put a draft clock. I'm not going to lie. I thought there there would be a lot more banter with this, but it seems like everyone's on. I'm trying to save a couple of good ones. I'm, I have two forwards and one D left, right? That's right. Okay. My D, my second D pick is going to be two-time Stanley Cup winner, Alex Petrangelo. Mm, I don't know if he's a Hall of Famer. I don't know about that. All right, well. And my and my second my second forward is going to be second USA player next to Patty Kane. I'm going with Phil Kessel. I had Kessel as a sleeper. Nice pick. I think I think he's making the Hall of Fame too. I agree with you. He's yeah, got the Iron Man Award. He's, he's got the Iron Man Award. He's got the Stanley Cups. He's got a decent. He's got over four hundred goals. Yeah, I think Kessel. Uh, I had him on my list too. I, I thought I would, I would sneak him in if I needed to at the end. But uh, same. Good pick. Good pick. Good pick. Oh, it's getting thin. I don't know about it's that Petrangelo pick though. I don't know. Little. What do you think? Petrangelo is a Hall of Famer. <sighs> Compared, I I can't think of many other D. I'm going to struggle to round out my pairing, that's for sure. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, 
I think with the slim pickings, I, I don't I don't hate it. Yeah, it is getting tough on D. I can think of I can think of one more guy who I think is most definitely a Hall of Famer on D. And then mm-hmm. I got a, a couple of if eh, you know, like questionable ones. But uh, all right, Mikey, back to you. No goalie. You need a goalie and a D. <clears throat> oh, this is this isn't as easy oh, as it man. sounds, fans. Just so you know, no, it's not. It's well, not if you easy. want to submit your own picks, feel free. Um, I'm gonna take a shot here. You guys might argue with me, but I think he's uh probably gonna be one of the better defensemen in the league soon to come. I'm gonna go with Roman Yossi. Oh, nice. you son of a bitch! <sighs> Wait, Good call. can I interject? Can I interject a little right here? Mike, he's stealing my might, picks. I know. Mike stole so many good picks. He's stealing so many of my picks. I just Go looked ahead, up Petrangelo stats just for the fans. 952 games, 140 goals, 431 assists, plus 117, two Stanley Cups. How many? Zero, any, no Norris, right? Zero Norris trophies, zero NHL awards. Zero Norris trophies. Not even he's voting, and he's been captain. He's he's borderline. He'll get consideration. He'll get consideration, but he's not. He's not like a surefire Hall of Famer, you know. I but it's a good that. pick. It, it, it's a good pick when the, in the sense that the picking is slim. I, I understand the pick, but I I don't th- I don't think uh, I wouldn't vote for him for the Hall of Fame. If I were voting right now, is he a Hall of Famer? I'd say no. This is my pick. That's all. There's only a couple guys I'd say no to that we picked so far, maybe. I think Petrangelo. I think everybody else is a Hall of Famer. I mean, maybe Quick isn't. I don't know. Pasternak? You agree with that one? Pasternak was a little, I think, too soon. It's funny because you took Pasternak, and then next round you took Stamkos, who's like a surefire first ballot Hall of Famer. (laughs) Yeah, so it's just kind of interesting, but... No, I thought, uh, yeah. I thought Eddie took – oh, no, Mike took Stamco. Yeah, Pasternak a little too I soon, I think. But I think he will be Hall of Famer, so it's kind of eh. – All right, little Ed. Son of a bitch, he took Yossi. Yeah, Yo, the thing about uh, Yossi – see, Yossi's another one I don't know yet, but, I mean, the guy has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got nine seasons in his career of more than ten goals as a defenseman. He's got a Norris Trophy. And he got robbed of a Norris Trophy. He should have two. Um, he's just—he's an unbelievable player. I think he's closer than Petrangelo. But all right, go ahead, little Ed. Uh, this is tough, man. Wait, what about Petrangelo with the hot wife in the TV commercial? <laughs> 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 oh man um i guess i'll go with my def- other defense being because i i'm not gonna be able to think of anybody else i don't think i'm gonna go with john carlson he's got the stanley john cup carlson. he's got the stanley cup 927 games played he wasn't on my original list so i've kind of just been searching for a defenseman in the last couple of minutes here. Uh, John, <laughs> John Carlson, 927 games played, 141 goals, 622 points, plus 93. He anchored Ovechkin's power play for, what, close to 10 years now. Did he win the Norris Trophy? No, but he's finished 10th overall, 12th overall, 2nd overall, 4th, 5th. 2nd. So, yeah, that one year he finished 2nd. That's right. 10th. A bunch of all-star games, fifth in the Calder voting, uh, all-star rookie team first. I don't know what that means. A, what's AR1? What does that mean? All-star rookie team? AR? Yes, AR-1. Um, and the Lady Bing all, a bunch of times. All rookie so, team. Yeah, all rookie He even finished, he finished 12th in hard voting in 2009-2010. Wait a minute. He won the Lady Bing? No. Bunch, he just finished in top 50 votings a bunch of times. Wow. That's a surprise. 
I don't remember. Yeah, I mean, look, it's tough. It's tough on D. Um, but I got one that you missed. Did we? Round out my D. Brent Burns. Uh, I have him I, on my list. I thought of him before. I don't know. Brent Burns, Norris Trophy winner. Yeah. 838 career points. I mean, they, it's the best option left. I, don't I was know. thinking I mean, him is he earlier a, today. And, is he a Hall of Famer? Um, I, probably. Um, and then to round out my team, my third forward, Genny Malkin. Very easy pick. Hart Trophy winner, Art Ross winner, twice Con Smythe winner, Calder Trophy winner. 1,229 points, two cups, right? Three cups? Three cups. So, coach's rule. How many cups do I have, coach? I have Crosby. That's three, right? Ovechkin, that's one. Malkin, that's three. Carlson and Burns, zero. And then Quick, two. Carl Burns never won, right? No, Burns never won. No. Quick, two. So, what do I got? Nine cups? How many do you have? Vasilevsky, two. Hedman, two. Petrangelo, two. Kane, three. Nine. And my next pick is definitely going to be... Kessel. Kessel's got three. Kessel, three. That's 12. And my next pick is definitely going to have him. <laughs> All right. So you're, you got 12 cups already? Jesus. All right. Little Ed. So my team is done. Crosby, Ovechkin, Malkin, Carlson, Burns, Quick. I think I have like nine or ten cups, if my math is correct. We'll do it I'm up again? Sure. Yeah, you're up again. Round your team out with your last forward. My poor Mikey. Take your time, because Mike's still looking for a goalie. <laughs> 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 it's going to take you gorgeous to <laughs> stir. Uh, I have a goalie. <laughs> I have a goalie. I have a goalie for Mike. I think it's kind of a sleeper, but. There's only one I can think of that maybe. That's why I took quick, honestly, because I was like, I don't know. Well, it's not a bad a pick. Honorable nah. mention at the end, I guess. Um, Quick's definitely going to make the USA Hockey Hall of Fame. He, he might make the Hall of Fame. Um, we'll see. Little Ed. I'm going to go with... Oh, this is tough. There's a million guys. You need a forward. I don't know if there's a million guys. <laughs> uh, there's uh, one. I got one, two, three, four, five guys still on my list. Yeah, I, I do too, but it's a matter of wanting them on my team. Well, none of them have won the Selkie, so I don't know if they'll qualify for your team. <laughs> All right. Um, all right. I'll go with Joe Pavelski. Oh, I Joe thought he was on my list. Is he a Hall of Famer, really? Where's he I at? Think he's, he's the best shot deflector in the history of the game. In the game. He's got over 1,000 games. 1,000 uh, points, 1,200 1, games. Points. I think he's that's got, pretty good stats. No Stanley Cups, though, right? No Cups nope. yet. That's the only reason why I wouldn't have had him. Yeah, I don't know I if he's a Hall of Famer, but he's close. I'm looking at his numbers, Ed. Uh, it's not a bad pick. I mean, 450 goals, 1,000 points, 1,250 games, no major awards, no Stanley Cups, but that's a hell of a career, and that's pretty close. Um, I think, you know, it kind of reminds me of, like, didn't Pierre Terzon just get in the Hall of Fame? Yeah. It reminds me of those numbers. Terzan, you know, 50, 515 goals, 1,300 points. You know, no, no major awards, no, no cups. I was curious to see who I missed. Oh, he won the Lady Bing. All right, we're waiting for Mikey's pick. Well, Pavelski is really not... a, a close. That's a close call. Ed. Not too bad. Yeah, I'm not Another USA man. Hockey Hall of Famer. I was going to round him out with my. Team USA forwards, but all right. Let's see what we got. Mikey, Mikey produces goalie. I got somebody. 
I don't think he's a first ballot Hall of Famer, but I think he might be in the Hall of Fame. I'm going to round off my team with Simeon Varlamov. Oh, God. That's, <laughs> that's where we're at with the goalies. <laughs> I was going to um, say Bobrovsky. What's Bobrovsky stack? Bobrovsky was my guy, the only one. Because um, he's got two Vezina trophies, you know? I mean. And who's last, Eddie? You got to finish, no? You, that's no, it. Me. Coach, coach, coach is last. Coach Ed. All oh, right, Mikey's too. Mikey's great. We got to Varlamov. Talk about Varlamov's got 272 wins. 2.65 goals against. 38 shutouts, not bad. 916 save percentage. He's pretty good. Um, what is quick having wins? I think you got to have 300 wins to get in. I don't know if that's the case anymore, but uh, quick's got 375. You gotta have three hundred wins to get in. in my three seventy five. There's 2. too many goalies. In the two, there's too many goalies in the two hundred range to say okay. If you got two sixty, two seventy, you're in the Hall of Fame. Unless you got multiple Stanley Cups. Quick, Quick's got no Vezina trophies though. He's got a Conn Smythe Award and two Jennings trophies. But there's no, something uh, to be said about leading a team in the playoffs to the Stanley Cup. Yep. You know, yeah, Agreed. I want to change my pick. What from Flurry? <laughs> no, from uh, Pavelski. Pavelski. No, too late. If no yeah, one else picks, it, if no one else picks him, then I'm changing it. No, there's no changing. I'm the commissioner. <laughs> You're flopping. <laughs> You're not the commissioner of everything. <laughs> it's written in the spreadsheet. You're done, Coach. All right, my final pick. I'm going with. Nicholas Backstrom. A good pick. Um, 1,100 games, 1,000 points, plus 86, Stanley Cup. I mean, yes, it helped playing with Ovechkin, but he definitely was a two-way forward and a great playmaker, something on the Adam Oates level probably. I mean, Adam Oates had Hull. Uh, Backstrom had Ovechkin. Well, some would argue Backstrom. that, uh, yeah, some would argue that Ovechkin would have been successful without Backstrom also, or, or as successful. Backstrom, Kane, and Kessel for coach. That's his line with Hedman and Petrangelo, Vasilevsky, and that. It's pretty good. Mikey's got Connor McDavid, David Pasternak, and Steven Stamkos with Roman Yossi and Chris Letang and Semyon Varlamov in that. That's Little Ed really got. The net is bad. Yes, yeah, that's why it's so quick, dude. Uh, Taze, Kopitar, and Pavelski with Dowdy and Carlson and Mark andre Fleury. And then my team, Crosby, Ovechkin, and Malkin with Carlson and Burns. We know how well that worked in San Jose. And Jonathan Quick in net. Pretty good teams. So who did so, we miss? Who did we miss? Honorable, honorable mention. Mentions? Honorable for mention for me, or who I wanted to switch my pick to, is Mark Stone to round out my Selkie team. Mark because Stone cannot be a Hall of Famer. No, yeah, look, no if listen, Mark Stone, he's got he's got the cup now. There's no way. And he finished sec- second in Selkie all those years to Patrice Bergeron and Kopitar. What are his stats? He's got 514 points. Points in 584 games. 118 uh, plus 118. He's got the cup, captain, and finished Selkie, finished second in Selkie three years in a row. And I, captain I Bergeron won those years. You guys are naming qualities that are good in a hockey player, but not for a Hall of Famer. A, being the captain doesn't put you in the Hall of Fame. Wasn't Kelly Kissio the captain the of the, of the like three team teams to the Stanley Cup? <laughs> okay, we're not All saying right. that that's the criteria, Ed. We're saying it's. One of the criteria. No, it's not. It's not even a consideration. You're looking I at statistics. Them. I don't think so. I mean, it's, it's an add-on. If they qualify, it's it's if, not going to be. They like, named an if award. He was, they if he was, if he was, they named an award, a leadership award. If you're not going to say the leadership isn't a criteria, then don't say the Norris Trophy is a criteria, or the no. Selkie, or anything. It's not. It's an it's award. Not. 
It's an add-on. It's if the guy otherwise it's qualifies, your opinion. it's a benefit. No, it's like the what the people no. vote on for the end for the whole Mark, game. If Mark Stone was forced to retire right now because of his back injury, he would be considered. Oh, he would be on the ballot. He'd be on the ballot, but he wouldn't get in. I'm agreeing with Eddie that it's not he's not a Hall of Famer, but I'm not agreeing that the leadership. That's why he's my last pick, honorable mention. I didn't say the leadership award doesn't matter. I said being a captain of a team is not. Oh, you're in my leadership award. That's saying leadership is part of character. Okay. NHL captains right now. Let's see who they are. Kyle Oposo. Is he in the Hall of Fame? So you're gonna go. No, I didn't he didn't say that's lead, the he only didn't lead a team to a cup. We didn't say it's the only criteria. Is Boone Jenner going to be a Hall of Famer? Is Jared you're not going to lead the team to a cup? You're not listening. You're not listening at all. Oh, you're captain who leads a team to the Stanley Cup. That's what I said. I no, said no, he, a, I said he, he led coach, this team so. to a Stanley Cup. Yeah, it's part of it. That's why Petrangelo had he has stats, he has games, he has two cups, and he was the captain of the Blues when they went to the he, cup. No, I thought O'Reilly was the captain. I was think Petrangelo was. I'm pretty sure Petrangelo. Uh, yeah, pre- was Petrangelo old. was because he had the cup first. He's he's like the picture holding the cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy. I thought it was O'Reilly for some reason. O'Reilly was the, one of the assistants, and then he became captain when Petrangelo was traded. Petrangelo signed with Vegas. Yes, it was oh, signed. Yes, yeah, signed, signed, signed. Um, I remember thinking hmm. or wondering if Petrangelo was going to be the captain of Vegas when he got traded or when he signed, I keep saying that. All it's right, so who are your bit, honorable mention? I'm trying to think of what captains to, uh, have won the cup that aren't Hall of Famers now that you co- <laughs> now he's qualifying it. It's not just that he's a captain. It's a captain who's won oh the my God. Cup. It's it's unbelievable. Not it's not guaranteed, but it's a, it's a major thing. It's a major, major influence. Okay, honorable mention, Nikita Kucherov. <laughs> I had him on the list. He's close. He's probably Brad Marshawn. Corey Perry. Ah, look your him favorite. Up. Your favorite. Look, look up his numbers. The I'm, guy I'm a is, fan of his. Uh, he's got the stats. He's got games. He's got cups. I, I'm a fan of his. You're the one that hates him. He's got one cup. Me? Right yeah. or two? I just nominated him to the Hall of Fame. <laughs> what are you talking about? You hate whenever we talked about him, you say he's a has been. He's horrible, overrated. You what go are through you it over talking and over. About it? You just slander me on this podcast. <laughs> You're not a All Corey Perry fan. Where I'm a they... huge Corey Perry fan. What are you Where did you get one? A one-time cup winner. Yeah, what's his name to look up the episode? What's what's our fan's name? Joey. He won the Hart Trophy too. And he the won Rochelle the Hart Trophy. Yeah. To me, winning the Hart he, Trophy the Hart is bigger team. than being a captain. You win a Hart Trophy, you're on your way to a Hall of Fame career. I'm not uh, arguing everyone. with you with that. I'm not arguing with you with that. I okay. never said that the Hart Trophy means nothing. Okay. Well, to me, the Hart Trophy is a big one. He also scored 50 goals. Uh, I think Corey Perry is a borderline Hall of Famer. Um, he might even – I think he's in. Claude Giroux nah, was also on my list. Him, really. I didn't know he won the Hart Trophy. That was a long time ago, but I completely forgot about that. Claude Giroux stats. What would you say? Claude Giroux? I don't know about that. Claude Giroux, 1,002 points in 1,100 games. He's a Pavelski pick. He's close, yeah. He's, yeah he's I mean, he's got good pick. numbers. Um, Any awards? No, not really. His nominations, but no no winning. But he's captain. The goalie. Not to a cup, though. He was Philly's captain. <laughs> they haven't won in 50 to years. The final, so. To the final. It's going to be 50 years for Philly, I think, next year, right? 74 wow. or 75. When's their last cup? I'm not sure. Um, the goalie that I thought of, I wasn't sure if it qualified or not, was Carey Price. Oh, he's he's done. Is he a Hall of Famer? Well, no, that's that was just like one that I thought of when we were struggling. I wasn't going to pick him, but. <clears throat> the guy couldn't even pronounce their first draft pick's name. <laughs> All right, Stanley Cup winning captains is Dustin Brown for LA. Is he a, a Hall of Famer? He's on the ballot. He's not. A what Hall is of his? Uh, he has some good stats. What's his? He guy? was on last year's ballot, wasn't he? The other ones look like it: Ovechkin, Crosby, Taze, Chara, Lidstrom, Niedermeyer, Brindamore. Yeah, these guys are all Hall of Famers. You might be right, Coach. 
Darian Hatcher, he's not a Hall of Famer. <laughs> Look, I'm not <laughs> saying it's the only criteria. Again, listen. Guy Carbonell, I think he is in Guy Carbonell. I think he is too. <laughs> the Calgary Flames had two captains in 1989. Did you know that? No, I did not. One was co- Lanny McDonald. They had co-captains, Lanny McDonald and Jim Paplinski. Wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> I know Lanny McDonald was captain. But Plinsky, yeah. that's a name, the throwback name. Coach, what honorable mentions do you have? I, I We went through everybody I had, really. I, mean, I thought you had a pick that you were going to surprise that was us Pavel- with. That was, that was Pavelski. No, well, Carlson. Castle was my Castle, Carlson. Yeah, Castle, Carlson. Castle was my surprise pick. That no, I didn't think sure. no, I had Castle as my pick that I thought. Would drive cousin Eddie crazy. I was gonna pick yeah. Castle if it was still available at the end. I Pavelski like was my I Pavelski was my sleeper pick. All right, before we wrap up, we gotta cat we gotta count Stanley Cups. Imagine Pavelski gets in and they put on his plaque the best deflector of the puck in the league. <laughs> uh, in, the 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 ga- in the history of the game. No, I sent you the stats. It's Kreider. It's not Pavel. I think it is Kreider. So maybe Kreider should have been on the list. Kreider had 18 more tipping goals than anybody else since like, two, what was it, 2020 or 2018 or something like that? All right, coach. Let's count your Stanley Cups. Patrick Kane, three. Uh, Phil Kessel, he had two with Pittsburgh and one in Vegas, right? So three Cups. That's six. Backstrom is one. Hedman has two. Petrangelo has two. That's 10. Is that no wait? That's 11. And then Vasilevsky, two. You got 13 Stanley Cups on your team. It's pretty good. Mikey Producis, let's count your Stanley Cups. McDavid, zero. <laughs> Pasternak, zero. Um, Stamkos, two. Latang, three, right? Three. Tang? Yeah, I just looked it up. Yossi, zero. Barlamov, zero. I don't think he won. It's like the grade point average of Jim Bel- uh, John Belushi in Animal House. <laughs> so you got two plus three. You got five Stanley Cups. Little Ed, Jonathan Tays, two. Three. Co- three. Kopitar, three. two. Two. Kopitar, two. Yep. Dowdy, two. Two. Pavelski, zero. Yeah. That's seven. Carlson, Carlson one. Carlson, one. Eight. Mark. Flurry, two, right? Flurry? I believe he won. One is a starter and one is a backup. Yep. Oh, he's on the team. He he gets the cut. Oh, three. He won all three? It says three on hockey reference. I'm assuming all with Pittsburgh. He won the two, and then yeah. he was the backup. He didn't do anything in Chicago, now in Minnesota, and now Vegas. He lost yeah. in the finals with Vegas. Yeah, he's got all three. He backed up Murray on the last cup. That's what it was. Um, and then I got Crosby, three. Ovechkin, one. That's four. Malkin, three. Seven. Carlson Burns, zip diddy doo da and then quick two. So what do I got? Nine? Three. What did Eddie have? Seven, nine. Eleven. Eddie's got – I got you a ten. Did I count wrong? I got Kopitar two, Taze three, Pavelski zero, Dowdy two, Carlson one, Mark andre three. Did I count wrong? That's eleven. No, I counted wrong. I gave Flurry two for some reason. So Coach Ed wins the Stanley Cup battle with 13. Little Ed in second with 11. How many captains did Coach Ed have? <laughs> yeah, so now let's see how many captains. Patrick Kane, is it? no. Kessel, no. Backstrom, no. Hedman, no. Petrangelo, one. They're all assistant Hedman? captains, though. Yeah, they're all assistants. No, Hedman was assistant. Stamkos is captain. They're the captain, huh? Mikey's got no. Stamkos and Yossi as captains. And McDavid. <clears throat> I got Kopitar. No, Kopitar never was. I got Taze. That's it. You got Dowdy. Dowdy was never captain, was he? 
I think he was. Oh, he's captain now. He's currently the captain, isn't he? Yeah. I think he is, at least. I think he is, too. Um, Does it say that anywhere? Oh, you meant captain for the winning the cup. Technically. Oh, I kind of was joking, but if we're going to do it, yeah, winning the cup. <laughs> I, got, I got Crosby and Ovechkin. I got two. All right. I guess uh, the only thing left to do, we don't have to do it live on the on the episode, is I'll count how many heart trophies we got. You know, seeing that I got Crosby <laughs> and Ovechkin, should get a bunch there. So we'll see. But fans, we're interested. Who do you think's got the best team? Uh, definitely uh, let us know when, on Instagram. I'm sure Eddie's going to make a post on that. And um, you know, let us know who you think's got the best squad or who who was taken that's not a Hall of Famer. Get some banter going on the internet. The internet's good for nothing else but banter. I mean, that's all it's good for. So, uh, tell us which pick you criticize. Tell me if you think I'm wrong on Carlson. Tell Coach he is wrong on Petrangelo for sure. Um, <laughs> can't argue with the I rest of his picks though. Definitely wrong I can with tell you, I can tell you one person who's not going to be in the Hall of Fame, and that's Bushnevich. <laughs> <laughs> he might be. Never. He's too young. Still young. Did you have any other honorable mentions? Because you said there were millions that I missed. No, I, I think I said uh, Dreisaitl. Um, you didn't say Dreisaitl. I, look, I looked up Dreisaitl. I didn't think he was. Uh, no, he's close. I mean, Dreisaitl, he he's got 350 goal seasons, a Hart Trophy, an Art Ross Trophy, Lester B. Pearson Award. 744 points in 638 games. I would say he's seasons. right. I'd say he's there. He's right there. I mean, it's he's he's closer than Pasternak. You know. But, yeah, I agree. <laughs> you had to take that final dig about the Pasternak pick. Yeah, Definitely. I mean, Mike. I just <laughs> when you said Pasternak, I wanted to just like leave the room. Um, dry side. <laughs> Dreisaitl, Kucherov, Giroux, and Perry. You guys took all my D picks. I have no le- none left there. And goalie, obviously, I don't have any. We said Bobrovsky. He's close. Um, but, yeah, so anyway, fans, let us know uh, which team you think is best. And, you know, if you want to make your own team and challenge it, let us know that too. Good little conversation here. Hall of Fame talk is always fun every summer. So we got a couple of uh, interesting interviews coming up. We should be dropping the next couple of weeks, and then we're going to head into our rivalry tour on our way to training camp. And then we'll finally get to talk some Rangers hockey. We'll see where all the prospects are at. Coach will tell me to put them all on the fourth line. I'll, I'll yell and scream, and you guys will enjoy the episodes. Um, so until, until then, enjoy your summer, and thanks for listening. Laughing's not signing yet, right? Not yet. No. Oh, you just reminded me, Coach. The Rangers did sign Brandon Scanlon. Do you know who that is? He's I a, heard him in the yeah. in the minor. Yeah, he's a Dean Hartford. He's actually got a chance to make it. Um, they signed him ahead of arbitration, one year, seven hundred seventy-five k. Um, it's pretty crazy. We talk about these guys like, oh, he only signed a seven hundred seventy-five thousand dollar a year contract. I'm like, it takes me a second to like put myself making that much money. <laughs> I was like, Wait a <laughs> yeah, oh, that's cheap. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, before we signed off, I wanted to give. Though. Yeah, just before we signed off, I wanted to give Mad Rabbit a shout out. They donated a uh, a starter kit to be raffled off at the outing. So shout out to Mad Rabbit Tattoo Aid. Go to madrabbit.com. Use promo code EDPOD. You got some tattoos. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm looking forward to using that in uh, November when we. Get our go to our tattoo appointment. We'll make sure we we'll do a nice little reel of Mad Rabbit, me crying while I'm getting the tattoo. You know, <laughs> we'll definitely have to load up on the numbing cream for cousin Ed. That's sure. <laughs> the Mad Rabbit numbing cream. Oh, I'm curious geez. to try it too. I mean, I for sure I want to get some for our appointments and see how it. See, gotta try all of our partners' products, right? So. 
I'm excited for the tattoo soothing gel because usually you got to go old school and use like Aquaphor or whatever. So I'm I'm excited for something specifically for tattoos. Yeah. They got body lotion. They got the bomb. You always want to put Ooh, the bomb cool. on. <laughs> and uh, that yeah, one was the numbing on, cream. That one was on the other night. <laughs> they have sunscreen too. Wow, I'm looking at all their product products. They came out with a lot of new stuff. So definitely head out over to Mad Rabbit and they got the tattoo repair patches, which are huge. Those are very Oh my convenient. god. I, I forgot to tell a, you guys. That's a pain the, in the butt. Some one of my friends, uh we're in a, I'm in a group chat and he sends me uh the the gif of Zach Galifianakis in the campaign. What's his name? Marty uh Marty or whatever. Huggins. Like, Marty, Huggins. Marty Huggins. Marty Huggins. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's Marty Huggins at the table, and he looks over at his son, and he goes, "Why?" <laughs> Remember, like, <laughs> yeah. So it's that scene where he just looks over and it says, "Why?" Because I guess he was just sending it in the chat. It's like, "Why would you say that?" Like as a he didn't even know where it was from. I was like, "Dude, did you ever see that movie?" He's like, "No." I'm like, "You sent that gift." I laughed for like twenty minutes. <laughs> and he had no idea. He had no idea. And he didn't even know where it's from. He just searched "why" in his uh, in his like gift searcher on the phone or whatever it is. I don't know. Is it GIF or GIF? I still don't know. Either or. Been, been alive for thirty-seven years, and I don't know if it's GIF or GIF. Anyway, um, all right. Well, I'm glad the golf outing went well. That was fun doing that draft with you guys. I'm happy with my team. Um, I know <laughs> last last time I got a little bit of crap because I took all the old players, but you guys just dump all these players in my lap every every draft. Like Crosby and Ovechkin, yeah. one, one back to back. Like, what am I going to do? Not take them? Like Malcolm was going to be my next pick, also, but eh. Sorry, it bro. Is what it is. I won the last draft, so we'll see what happens. Well, the thing is that the thing is that you you put the order of the pictures in well, a way where everybody likes yours first, and then by the time they get to mine, like they stop liking our photos because they're inundated with content. So they're just like, whatever, you know. It's, I know. So how, how, you, how do you propose? You post mine first. Oh, okay. <laughs> What if I just post all of them every day and see what happens? No, I'm not doing that either. I wish you could do it in a way where you post all four in one post, but we can get votes. But I don't think you could do that on Instagram. It's got to be a way to you do could it. You do votes on a story, but on a not story, on, yeah. on Instagram. Yeah. Well, maybe Coach can chime in on some Instagram ideas. What do you think, Coach? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm all good on that. <laughs> All right, boys. Well, I'm looking forward to these interviews and uh, putting more content out this summer. It's been slow. Uh, ever since free agency, the league's been pretty slow. I mean, I keep reading these random things like, oh, Laffy might sign with you know offer sheet. And he's not signing an offer sheet, guys. Don't worry about that. Um, he'll be locked in at $2 million or so in a couple of days, most likely. So, um, yeah. Or Laffy. much- Laffy's only going to make $2 million a season. Yeah, there hasn't been much going on though. As you hear all these rumors, uh, Eric Carlson might get traded. This might happen. That might happen. Really, the only thing that happened is Bergeron retired, and the Bruins are looking for a center. See if anyone gives one up. But it's not much going on around the league. I think teams are pretty happy where they are, and they're a little bit stuck with the cap. So until then, we'll keep putting out content. And uh, thanks for listening. Thank you, fans. Let's go Rangers. Let's go Rangers coming soon. Let's not rush it though. Yep. Yeah, I know. Thank I'm fans. enjoying the summer a little bit. <laughs> Don't forget to check out our YouTube if you want to watch and check out our pretty faces and our no, it's worth rooms. it for Coach Ed doing the machine. <laughs> yeah. At least watch <laughs> up to that point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there he goes again. I wonder why you can't right. hear it. It must be blocking the sound out. All right, good night, All guys. Right. On that on that note. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. Love you guys. Good night. Good night, boys.